All right, though, everybody, we are here. We are going to be jumping into uh, first and goal by Libby Bap. That's going to certainly be our first map of the evening. It's an extended remake of Touchdown by Dolphiner. Dolphiner? Yeah, Dolphiner. Um, it's a 6 out of 10 for ex four experienced players. No Q-toss, new skills, no fast timing, no difficult moves, no glitches, no bunny hopping, no angled lasers through portals. Everything is easy to execute in the intended manner. There is a glitch with the track platform. If you turn it off exactly when it's reversing its reversing direction, it will become unportable and instead of stopping, will move very slowly. Starting and stopping it again will eliminate the glitch. Thanks to Narcos for playtesting advice. Big thanks to Dolphin for the original map and advice with this one. Enjoy. Well, we'll try and enjoy. We will try. But of course, we all know what happens on these harder maps. So strap yourselves in grab a hot cup of cocoa maybe a few bickies as well while you're at it as uh as wally is going to take us on a journey i'm pretty sure so let's get some crosshairs back taking screenshots earlier on all righty then first and goal So, quite simply put, um, that's our only exit criteria. And from here, with a redirection cube, I would assume we can see both of these, which is interesting to say the least because we're going to have to move this portal i'm guessing there's going to be a light bridge or a funnel involved which is we're going to come out of there and move the panel and that's going to then be allow us to get over to there so i can kind of see how we're going to get to there as for as for how we like change the position of the cube that's another story so, over here we have some of the bars. So the bars in uh, is a custom item, which will allow us to walk through, but not allow us to bring cubes through. So those in a couple of maps at the moment. We have more ant lines and connections over here. So we have a cube and a faith plate looks like it's connected by a conductive plate. That's going to indicate to me we've got a funnel in this map. Not sure how that second faith plate is activated at the minute, just can't see it. Knocks in jail, yeah. Sounds about right. Alright, so here we have a bouton. And the button is going to give us our first cube, so why don't we go and press that right now. We're going to have to use this cube to get up to this area. It's the nice little signage is indicating right there. There is our funnel. Drink, because we can drive through to the minute. Doesn't bode well as we're about to journey on a two to three hour live stream. Okay, so it does a couple of things. First and foremost, it is lowering the platform. Secondly, it's um, changing the clarity of the funnel. So we can possibly make use of this here. We can respawn the cube to allow us to get up to this upper area. Multiple panel on the ceiling. This one? Guess that's what bars allow players to pass. I quite like these little tutorial hints that um, Libby started to put in this in these in, his, in their maps. Okay, so we have funnel. 
So we could actually now push the cube off, right? I do believe. I believe. I don't really. I guess we can pull that across. And I'm guessing, or I'm hoping, we can see this panel from here. And we can push the cube off. I'm just trying to think of the, the logic here. So we can pull the cube off, so, so not to respawn the cube. But... Let's see what good that would do. It would push it, then it would pull it. But have we got enough time to respawn... Um, Got enough time then to change the surface there. Let's see. Let's see. No. That is directly in the drink. Okay. What I'm thinking is early game, could we pull the cube through a portal surface? They might be a bit loud. Volume them a little bit. I've got to change it earlier on after doing some recording. Got Nerdling, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Happy New Year. Hope you had a good one. So what I was thinking is, could I pull the cube through, then change the portal surface somewhere else? Excuse me, and then push it through, but I don't think I can. I think that would work. If I just wanted the cube up there, I could simply do this, couldn't I? Save doing what I was trying to do there. And then we could go through here. Let's just say we could go through here and... We could set the portal there and then push the cube through to this side. However, that's not going to work because. Because. And stuff. We do have the ability, though, to push the cube if we need to. We could have put the cube here and got a pull there first. But no, we can't do that. Um, okay. So we're already stuck. That's pretty good. Oh, you know what? We could so we we are so no one tonight. Well we could really easily get the cube up there, I've just seen now. Maybe we need to use the funnel. The funnel was a bit of a distraction on this. What we could do though is simply do this. We spawn the cube. Panel there. Oh no, we can't get back out. Ah, oh, okay. How do we get out? Before with a didn't we get out with a portal on here before? I feel like we did. Hmm. I'm starting to think we may have cheated it, which isn't good. I'm thinking though, the first move is going to be. I'm going to cube out and open this fizzler here. I 
Oh, wait a sec. Um, hold on. Oh, I need to do that. Okay, so we need to go up to there. All right, let me read our save. Yo, Libby, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. It's been a good weekend. Okay, so we've got the portal surface there. Which is what I want. Let's respawn the cube for a moment. Okay. Really see how this helps, though, if I'm honest. Let's go back here a moment because we just literally have to stay there, wouldn't we, for the time being? But the idea here would be we push this off, but I don't think we've got enough time to shoot that to stop it from going in the drink, which we don't. And now we don't have a way down to there without losing portals. First and goal is first, Atom. What's going on? Uh, we got to it on Friday night stream, but I decided after already being like an hour and a half into the stream, I didn't want to tackle it. I wanted to start it fresh um, off the top of the stream. Because um, really whatever we've done there isn't right. All right, let's grab our cube back again. I think we were to go over here first. see that pole surface. So that's not the answer. I wonder if I could see that and if there was a way to get over to there early on, but there was not. So I'm really limited as to what I can do here. Really limited. That fizzler opens, does it? Doesn't have any antlion or signage, so I'm guessing not. What I'm guessing is get the cube into there. On the conductive plate, open this fizzler, pull a portal on there. With the portal on there, we're going to need to have the funnel, the cube in the funnel, in a reversed funnel, so we can stand on the button and we can push the cube through onto that conductive plate. And we can then. I'll do that will activate faith plates there. I don't know why I want that faith plate at the minute.
unless maybe I come through here first and then fire through that portal and then I fire onto that one and then I can use the faith plate maybe to get back over to this side. And I don't know why I couldn't just walk through there, so I don't know if that's right. Anyway, we, we don't need to worry about this at the minute. We need to work out this first bit. And the first task is, I'm pretty sure, conductive plate. So... Now... Like we've already done though, the only way, the only thing to do here is to push that off there. That causes that to go all the way across to there. Um, we can't, there's not enough time to like shoot that and land that there. I don't know what good that would even do us if I'm completely honest. What it does do is what? Quite interested to know where that faith plate shoots the cube, though, as well. I know we're like miles off getting to there, and it would seem counterproductive because I feel like we need to open that fizzler using that to be able to utilize the um, conductive plate in there and drop that cube. But. Oh, it's not connected. That's not its own independent button. Okay. Um, I just wondered if that would like fire a cube up to this, into this upper area here. So this is the state of play. I was firing over there anyway because I thought that was open like this side, but it's not. It's completely closed off, isn't it? Hence why. Um, Possibly because my, all my um, customizations have gone again, Libby. So, and everything's set to high. Apart from that. better? I think that's better. Um, we're still running at 60 FPS, so yeah, no, that should be better. Well, I feel like I'm already at a sticking point. One thing I could do at this point. I wonder actually. One thing I could do.
Is there a death field down there? I am probably old be able to see it though, would I? So yeah, I was about to say I don't remember seeing that, but I wouldn't be able to see it from there. Okay, so from here. I could do this. Now I don't know what this what this does for me and how this helps me, of course. But I could use this to put myself over to here. And then now I could do that. But again, how does that help me? Because for this to be of benefit... need to push ourselves or push the cube out of this area here, wouldn't we? But we would also need to be somewhere else as well. It does, at this point, it doesn't matter whether I drag the cube off the button or push the button, because it has the same effect. The, the cube gets respawned whichever way I do this. Take the cube up to here. Let's pull there, haven't I? Flip. I think I could push the cube somewhere. But of course, I have to walk through here to then get a pull back on that side, which then makes everything a little bit null and void. There's no way to return anywhere keeping a pull on that side unless I come through this portal here. Being dragged through, so... I'm also not sure what the, what the why the screen is there. Why would I want the screen to see about the laser?
still sort of thinking along the lines of this portal surface behind this glass. We need to use that to get the cube into here, uh, which is a given. The problem is, how do we... How do we lower the platform, get up to there, but then re-lower the platform? And the answer to that, I think, would be we would need two cubes. So, let's play everyone's favourite game. Let's pretend we're not. Because, let's be honest, it's just the best game ever. Um, let's assume we've already got two cubes. And we set them like this. Now, we don't necessarily need to use the funnel straight away. drop in the right place. Yeah, it's gone too far. Okay, so maybe that's not the solution. Alright, well... Absolutely no progress as of yet. After half an hour, as expected. Is this one wide open? I mean, it's an interesting portal surface. So the only thing I can think here is that we'd use it to, when this is open, we'd use it maybe to travel to here and then back across to here with a funnel. Uh, be able to do that because if we got to here and then change the push funnel to there we're actually going to push it off the button there so then it'll turn to a drag funnel and then we will um see i'm really sure unless this is purely to get over here so once we've opened here we could potentially pull from there and that portal surface there drop onto here. Okay. I'm assuming that like the first major objective here is to get the second cube. And to get the second cube, we need to open this fizzler. And to open that fizzler, we need to get a portal in the top side, but be able to get back out again. Um... But that's where I don't see how we do it. The only way up to there is to cause the cube to respawn.
Okay, something we could potentially do. Man, why is that cute? Why is that funnel so fast? Hey! There we go. That's what we wanted. Mika! What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Progress has just been made. All right, the game is saved. So, next up, I suppose we can get the second cube now, right? Uh, respawn. Doctress, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Nice. You can't wait to get out of the house, Maker. Look up, there is a portable panel on the ceiling. Okay. Excellent. Okay. New question. Under a lot of stress. Sorry to hear that, Doctress. Which panel was it for? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Sorry to hear you're not enjoying college at the minute, Doctress. Alright. This is what we have at the moment. Now. So let me get this right, Mickey. You're celebrating coming out of isolation by having a trip to the dentist. <laughs> okay. Two cubes, yay. What do we do with two cubes? Well, first things first, I guess we're going to want to get the funnel back. Or at least get back up to here. Well, it's probably going to be more helpful at this point than anything. Mm. 
maybe though instead the laser cube in the funnel perhaps just trying to think here maybe laser cube in the funnel so I can actually push all right let's just, just stay as we are for the moment it's probably the safest bet we go back through here I want to jump through the funnel. See, this is where I think... I don't think that's the right thing to do at the moment. What I feel like I need to do is, is instead... Right, put that in there. Now... Uh, that was a mistake. I need to set this up in a way whereby I can clear one portal. So how would I do that? What I'm thinking is, if I can get the blue the blue cube in the funnel, and then use the red cube to get up to the top. Then I would be able to um, push the red cube, get up to the top, push the red cube off. The blue cube would be in the... I suppose um, one thing I should probably check first. Okay. Does auto respawn, but I need to take the... I need the blue cube to get it back. Okay, it's good to know. It's good to know. Now, an A-level a is basically... Um, so in the UK, at 16, you do um, a set of exams called GCSEs. And then between 17 and 18, you can then study further and those qualifications are called A-levels. So basically your A-levels, uh, the results of your A-levels are what um, determines how you get into sort of like university or college, like American college is basically, um, so it's those qualifications that you need to go to university slash college. So. There are alternatives such as like, uh, there are other qualifications you can get, but A-levels are the traditional sort of university accepted qualifications. Anyway, I digress. Um, right, so what we need to do, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? What do we need to do? I don't want, I need to lose my other portal. That's what I need to do. And you know what? It might be easier to do than I am making this look. So... Okay, so that's that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, so what could I do this instead? 
Excuse me. The answer is no, I can't do that because I got no way of respawning red. I assume this is just blue, right? Hmm. Have standardized guests. So they sound much more fun than tests. I can do that again and I can set it all up, but what I really want is I want a cube in this funnel. But it has to be the blue cube. The red cube in that funnel does nothing for me, as I need the laser on the other side of this, this fizzler. That's what I believe, anyway. I go back round and I put the portals in position. Um, hold on. if I would have enough time, but what if, respawn, through here, I wonder if we see if a bit of Ghost cube action would work here. Okay. Ghost cube action works. But... I don't have a laser cube. That would be great, but yeah. I'm thinking here as well, why? Uh, no, I can see why. We need to use that cube to get across here. That is a bit of a no-no, just for the simple fact that I now have to get rid of all my portals. So...
tiny bit of progress, but even more headaches and questions. If I could just clear the... If I could just clear that, like, orange portal. Hmm. I could make it work. Let me, um, play less flex pretend again. So if we could get this situation, this is what I might literally going for here. That pushes that off there. We go over to here. Here, we can do this to push the cube through to here. No worries, Doctress. Hope things get a little bit easier for you, buddy. Take care. You really aren't getting tired of that, are you? Uh, sure. Oh. Look, let us. I. I didn't realize Chell's head was made of like a lead balloon sort of thing. Yeah, you see, the, that's all well and good, but the problem, the problem with that is that's not what we need to do. For the simple fact that, uh, oh no, we can. Okay, no, we could have done that. We could have done something there. So we could literally go through here. I was thinking that we was a little bit stuck there, but we're not at all. So we could do this, walk through here. Okay, so that just does that. So that's fine. Yeah, this could work. This could actually work. Then so that portal's in the right place. And then from there, we would just need to push both the cubes through into here. So that we could aim one there like that to open the door. And then we'd have the other cube over here like this, so we would jump up to here. And we would exit. Alright, so I think that's... It's not the complete exit scenario. But it's, it's a good handle on what we need to do. So, the goal is, I believe, to get the reflector cube over that side. I mean, you enjoy, enjoy your first day of freedom tomorrow, buddy. Enjoy it. And um, hopefully we'll see you again next time, buddy. Take care. So, the, the big question is, how do we do this?
How do we do this in a way we only have the cube? We need to, before we make that move there, we need, already need the blue cube in the funnel. So yeah, before we do that move, the cube has to be in the funnel. Let's go on, Pop Bonky. Um, nothing is even. Everything is odd, unfortunately, today. It's an odd sort of day today. Well, is this is it just as simple as this? Is it just as simple as this? It may be. Did I misread this? Did I make this more complicated than it needed to be? Quite possibly. That's the knock way of doing stuff. It looks like Portal 2. Oh my goodness, what? What is Portal 2? I've never heard of that in my life. Okay. Save. And I believe that's progress. Big progress. So, now we can go through here. And we can now move this panel. Excellente. It's another safe spot. Now, I need to get rid of that cube. And we can take another one. And we're going to need to get this red cube back from here. Okay. So now we're back to here. Let's grab another save just for Alright, so, the next key move, see this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, because now we need to send both the cubes across. Now we can repeat a number of the steps for now to get things where we need it. So first of all, we need the funnel. Could put both the cubes in here. But of course that's gonna be a problem. This is where I think it's going to take a step up, even though, even though it feels like everything's been like a, a proper grind up to now. The moves have actually been relatively simple uh, once we've rolled out everything else. Um,
Now, the big issue... I'm just wondering if we need to use this again. I'm also wondering if... Let's do a simulation run here. Um, I can't do that, can I? I'm afraid. Alright, so we've got save points, it's fine. Here's what I'm wondering. If we somehow have... That and that set up like this. This is all hypothetical, of course. So I wonder if that's a maneuver I need to pull off. sure how that would help though. I mean even if I could get into here myself I still have to pass for a fizzler. I don't know how else I would I don't know how else I would get the both cubes in position but also be able to get myself up to the top That's the issue I'm facing. So let me sort of demonstrate. Um, so it's really, I think, I feel like it's really simple to get both of these cubes where I want them. That there. I'm going to drop down here. back again. Oh, you know what? No, it, it would be a bit more be a bit more trivial than that, wouldn't it? Because both of these cubes aren't currently in the funnel. And this is where it kind of falls down a little bit for me, because this is what we did before. 
and I'll just put the red cube there and pull it off with the funnel. It's almost why I'm thinking we need to have um, we need to use that faith plate somehow underneath that cube with that funnel to catch the red cube but I don't know how I would set that up I don't know how I set it up and then I don't know how Here, this position here, I got a respawn cubes. Use that surface, which is interesting. Okay, we haven't used that surface. Okay, so um, we could push the cube, blue cube, onto there. We could put the red cube onto there. Cause that to respawn. Then use the funnel to pull it across, perhaps. Let's use a red cube, just for now. Make things a little bit easier, just to play around with it. I don't think this is the right cube to use, bearing in mind, but. from there though. Actually from here now I would need both cubes. So I feel like I would need to take red, leave red down here. Let me just go and do what I was going to do originally which was the ghost cube move. Which is one on there and two on here. From here. Say blue cube up there, I think. Blue cube there means we can't respond. Cube. Actually, it doesn't matter. We just need the portal surface. Oh, but it does matter. Okay. 
So before I drop down here, what I should have done instead was do this. And... This. Actually, what I should have done is this. And this. So I can get back up to the top. Then the portal surface there. Better still. That and that. Water surface there. Respawn blue here. Problem here. There is a big problem here. That is, I can no longer get the red into there. So literally all this is going to do is cause red to respawn. It does, okay. Right. to get back up to here. Uh, I got a pretty big issue at the minute though, really. That whole thing is I honestly don't know what I'm meant to be doing, or how I'm meant to do this, because even if I get both the cubes over, how do I then how do I then go through that pole surface? Right? Because there's this gap here. So I would need to be in the blue funnel. Push myself across to here. With one of the cubes. Let's see what I'm meant to be doing. And I know I said maybe it involves the other side, but again, I still don't really see what I would do other than pulling the cube through that portal surface, which would mean the blue cube would need to be on the conductive plate.
see what would need to happen here is this. Oh, maybe I just re... Okay, so how do I do that the first time around? Okay, let me think about this. How did I... Uh, how did I do this? How did I do... Yo, Rodrigo's, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Long time no see. Welcome, welcome. So what I'm thinking is, we repeat... Repeat the opening move. But I can't remember what the opening move was because that was like 45 minutes ago when I did that. <laughs> um. Oh, I do remember what it was. Yes. Okay, I do remember what it was. Okay, so let's respawn blue now. To Scanty Chapman, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. And I drop that there, and then I'm exactly the same position I was before. I can't then. Uh, I can't access six. Walk out there, walk out there. Okay, so let me do. Let me try this. This is what we did before, right? Yes. Respawn that. Oh, you see, this is this is where I get. I don't think this helps me in this situation because I could place the portal on the top, then respawn blue. By respawning blue, I then lose my portal over here. I lose like the ability to put a portal on this surface here. Another interesting point to note, though, is why would I want to do... Why would I want to drag red through the portal when I've got... already Red is already in the funnel. Seems slightly counterproductive. It's like trying to cause a respawn on red just for the sake of respawning. It won't make a difference to the way we've got things set up right now. But my concern is... I feel like there is a respawn involved in red.
for the simple fact that for the simple fact that um, we haven't used this surface here, this this like surface opposite this conductive plate here. So maybe we need to actually do the opposite of what we've just done. Put red on the conductive plate to open that fizzler and then play around with blue. Then we push blue through this portal here to the conductive plate. And we swap it right before it's about to hit. That will cause the respawn. It will cause, we can put the portal on here where we stood with the reverse funnel. But it's pointless because it will just get fizzled. And So again, I don't see the point. Since this on a surface is not ground level. I wonder if this was on ground level where we could do something here and send the cubes across. Only way uh, I don't tend to play co op maps, to be honest, T Chapman. Um, I'm more sort of a solo thinker. We need to push both the cubes across, and I think the only way to do that is for me to stand on the button, which is fine. Um, Yeah, no, I'm I think I'm overcomplicating this. Massively. Maybe. Um Yeah, the finale's easy actually. Okay. Um, when me and Deathwish play co-op maps, it's not to solve puzzles, it's so Deathwish just can randomly fire rockets at me and kill me constantly over and over again. There is no sort of uh, puzzle solving going on, it's purely for... Alright, so what we need to do, we need both cubes in there, then we somehow need to get up to here, pull ourselves across here, then jump down here. We send the cubes across. Then we go through here and we go down here, through here, and we take both of the cubes, set this up like that. And like that, and then we're out. Um, it's got some um, custom B-Mod items, by the way, T. Chapman, that um, Libby made themselves. So that's probably why it feels in place like it's a bit of a hammer map. But it is purely B-Mod. 
All right, so that's the exit. So what we need to work out how to do... <laughs> Funny, maybe, but also 10 times more stressful. Uh, okay, so what we need to do, first of all... Step one. Get the phone. The sticking point for me All right. Yeah, this is this is going to be the sticking point is how we get up to this area here with a funnel and both the cubes in the funnel. That's where the issue lay. Now, this thing comes back to... Do we need to use this surface over behind the Fizzler again? So let's think about this. If we have this on here and this on here, so just so we can put that there, okay. That's that. Now, this sits on here, and we would have so we have that there just for now. So, we're in this position here right now. So what we would do is we would fire ball to there, drag that across there. We would then do what? You see, I'm going to say we would do this But, the issue is here, of course, that faith plate isn't activated. The problem is with like going down this train of thought is there is no way there's a way to get the red cube into the funnel, there's no way to get the blue cube in the funnel while we're stood up here. There are no intersecting portal surfaces. Maybe. Well, no, 
wouldn't do anything, would it? So what if we had... I don't think this intersects, does it? No. Okay, well, that's not an option. I thought maybe for a moment that if we had the panel in the middle position there, we could maybe respawn blue, push it across, and then catch it in the... in this funnel here. I mean, we, we could we could drag it over here, but it, it would be absolutely pointless because this fizzler never turns off. So. So we're back to here. Get the cubes over. We need to use good stuff. Fun. No, I don't need to do that. How? Just how do I do things and stuff? And the issue is. Um, Using the lift. It's such a simple thing, I, I just couldn't think of how to, how to say that. It's using the lift. That's the issue. Using the lift because if we need both the cubes to be in the funnel, and there's no way of what am I missing? There must be a way to cause the cube to respawn and catch it in the funnel and avoid a fizzler. Ow. I need the funnel. I need to go up. Not the funnel. I need to go up the elevator. But the other cube... the other portal on the movable panel. The thing is though, I've like I've I'm curious now. With with this, this movable panel here, I'm curious because if it's a case this is purely used for getting the cubes over here, then I didn't need to move it before. So I, I am genuinely wondering. Let's really investigate the map. I'm genuinely wondering: is there another use for this? Now I know I said that I could push the. Oh, hold on.
Hold on. Hold on. Okay. What if this panel wasn't there? Let's just clear holes from it. What if instead of being there? gone too far, hasn't it? Yes. Okay. Okay. It was here. And obviously this is just purely hypothetical once again. But 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 We could do this. That reverses that. Also do this. Now this would, in effect, get us around the Fizzler. I want to make sure I can do this correctly. So this would allow us to go to here. Now, from here, I would want to do something like this. Okay. That puts that into there like that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so on that we have that. We've just gone over to here like this. Now, um, instead of retracting this straight away, what we actually do is wait for this to sort of come back a little bit, right? Okay, we pick this up. We still have an issue though, don't we? It's good, but it's not quite right. Is it good though? Still left with exactly the same problem here. Didn't we move this before with just a single cube? I think we did. Alright, so that goes back. Uh, 
I shot the wrong pole. But that would have done that to there. Okay, let's drop that down to there. We go through here like this. different though before. Thought we was nearly there, but alas, still quite a way off I think. I can send this one across. No problem. We just lost that in the drink, didn't we? Yes or no, Libby, am I thinking along the right lines? I think I am. Bit figured out. Oh, I think I need to use both the cubes to do this bit, didn't I? Yes. I made w at least one bad assumption. Uh, 
Yes, that's how I did it before. Okay, so... No, I want to take that cube up. You can stay there. Okay, and then we push through. Is there, so we can just go through here. Right. Am I good with that? Yes or no? So I need to take it step by step, I think, at the minute. And save there, though. All right, so then I need to set this up again. With... Faith playing, so I could have played a bit of a random thing to tell me again. I guess it's because I've loaded and saved so many times. The game's like, what? Just fine. All right, so then we're going to come through here. I think it's still progress. Next up we do... This. And we come across to here. from here Yeah. 
but now what? This is the problem. Hey Karuja, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. If this is right, I don't know where we would go from here. It's so tantalizingly close at this point. But from this position, everywhere I go, Blocked. Everywhere I go is blocked by a fizzler, so I can't keep pause on the funnel. So I'm assuming I've made a bad call somewhere between cubes are both there and I'm up here and this is how I got over here using this that's how I ended up over here but I don't see... I, I think this is an issue because I don't have a way I don't have a way now to keep this portal and get one over that side Them different when I was over on that far side there.
So... assumption would be so what we did differently that time to when we first ran through it was we jumped through the portal yo Chad thanks for the five bits buddy appreciate it how you doing welcome welcome well big good weekend um I think quite clearly this is not the answer. So if this is not the answer, let's reverse slightly. Whereby uh, this is um, first, first and goal from Libby. I think we're tantalizingly close to the end. I'm just trying to work out this, these last maneuvers here, which is um, certainly causing us a bit of grief. Okay, so we come across to here. So, from here... We do what? Go on. In the hope that's going to give us some inspiration, and we realise it doesn't. We send the cube up to there, hit the conductive plate, the funnel pulls it back, we switch to there to pull it through there. Okay, what if... I don't know if this makes any difference whatsoever. If we were to leave that there,
Are you saying like that from a hunch, Atom, or are you saying that as in you actually know? Just curious. Alright, so what could be done here, actually, is... When that comes back... Sure, it feels like progress anymore though. To sort of get around this, I would need to do this maneuver again. Cream in years. Obviously, I could now push. Backwards, I feel like I'm going backwards. Oh. This kind of makes a whole... Doing moves like this kind of makes that whole side behind that fizzle that, like, to, like, in front of me right there, pointless. Because I could do all of this stuff without needing... that to be there and that's what's frustrating thing for me I need to understand like at what point I I'm gonna have to ask the question in a minute I think of like what point am I making bad assumption or did I make a bad assumption but I say this doesn't feel right in the fact that Do all this. It's gonna fizzle. I could do all this without to use that other side, so I don't think that's right at all. all right, so we had this.
I, I don't even know what question I asked. I, I guess my question now would be, is this stood here like this with this cube? Is this correct? Or... I guess that's the question at the moment. Move this, put the button, we send it into the five plate to the conductor plate, transit. Right, I'm correct here. So the next goal has to be respawning red. Which, the only way to respawn red is to put this on here. And I think we're going to want to drag that back. And do what we were doing before. If this is correct, don't answer, rhetorical question. If this is correct, we can now do a few things. We can. Cube on here. Go back through that panel using the faith plate. We can also Go back through this portal surface here by jumping on the cube and going into there. We could also send the cube on its own and walk through the fissure to clear the portals. I don't think that's going to be the, that. That's like the least helpful option. So let's weigh up the ideas. So if we was to go through this portal surface here, we would end up on the other side. Blue cube is in the funnel. We can drop down. We can push the blue funnel. Cube goes He goes through. Hello. Which is the conductive plate. Causes the... Um, red to respawn. Because it's touched the conductive plate, the fave plate will ping the red cube over to where we can pick it up from. We can then stand off the button and we can pull the blue cube back through. Okay. Then We have a red cube to play with. So we would... We would need to clear... This is where, this is where I'm getting confused, like... Oh, I got. I got to think. I, I've already tried a load of stuff, Chad. So I got. I got to think ahead, like proper, quite far. Um, 
So that would give us a red cube. Blue cube would be in the funnel. Funnel would be reversed. We could put the red cube on the button, which would create the blue funnel. The issue there would be we would still have an active portal. Two active portals. What if I... I'm trying to think, because having, having a portal on the surfaces that would they would be on, it would push the blue cube out of the surface. Um, that surface would be this one. But maybe that is right. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I got something. I got something that we haven't tried yet. So, we do this. We go through the funnel. We drop down. We spawn the red. We're going to drag blue back. Now we're going to do this. Just temporarily. Gets us up to here. Funnel is reversed. We can do this. Now push blue through. The question is, what can we do then? Well, let's work on it. Blue's there. But without two cubes... I don't I can set up the portal on the exit side. No worries, Chad. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, saying hi. Thanks for the bits. Have a good evening, buddy.
So yeah, the issue, the issue now is... Thanks for your optimism, buddy. up to here. Red cube is now lost. Where can we go from, what can we do from here? We do different. Here's something a little bit different. Um, how have the puzzles been? Uh, yikes. <laughs> yikes, this is how the puzzles have been. We've been on this one uh, the entire stream at the minute. Um, fire day, this is uh, the one and only puzzle of the stream. But, uh, hope you're well, buddy. Welcome along. Good to see new faces. Yikes in difficulty. Definitely. I think that's about that's that's that can't be the right move there. Because that would mean I was trapped here with nowhere to go. So let's reset that moment. We are coming towards the end of it. It's just I'm struggling to see how we set up the ending. The ending basically requires both the cubes, I believe, both the cubes. I hope. Um, but setting that up. Does it require both? Now, okay, okay. Okay, maybe it doesn't require both. Oh my goodness, maybe I've got it. Maybe that's the big assumption that I got incorrect. Alright, so we go. Um, 
How do we do this? Right, push the cube. Okay, back. This one now gets pushed over here. Yes, okay, um, sure. We need to... Uh... No. Alright. What? I swear I did this before. Oh my god, this is... This is... <laughs> this is frustrating. How did I do this before? Yes, okay, that was it. I remember. I remember. I remember. Panic over. So. We only need the laser cube, don't we? We need to get here. Laser cube's already in here, and we need a reverse funnel on blue portal. Yes. Right, let's deliver this cube. Oh boy. So, my question though now is, did I overcomplicate this whole section here? So by that, by I mean, do do I need to do that entire section? I guess yes, because although I can respawn the red cube at any point, I have to hit that to activate the faith plate and send it across, or else it would just sit there like that. So yeah, I do have to go around that. That's, that's fine. That's my question. But jeez, okay. So yeah, massive oversight. Um massive oversight there in that we needed both the cubes over on this side. Jeez. It's it's another it's another example though of an absolutely fantastic puzzle with minimum um, portal surfaces. Um, but yeah it's such a difficult puzzle. That you're so restricted to what you can do, you're almost like blinded 
from being able to see and progress. So, um, yeah, absolutely um, fantastic um, map. Thank you very much, um, Libby, for um, yeah, for, uh, for for that. That's um, I don't know, I'm just lost for words. I'm <laughs> kind of a little bit drained, and that's the reason why I kind of wanted to um, keep that as a um, single wanted to keep it as a single um and start fresh today because i knew starting it on friday after like an hour and a half of already playing other bits and pieces would have been um completely bonkers and we would have probably done even worse than we already did um tonight so um yeah Fantastic um, map indeed. Um, Libby, thank you very much once again for making. Yes, Atom, your map is next, but we'll get to it tomorrow because uh, I am not planning on starting another map right now. So uh, if you want to see Atom's map catalyst, make sure you come back tomorrow, same time, same place, 9.30 p.m. Uh, GMT. And we will be um, starting on with that. Fire Day and Karuja, thank you very much for the follows, guys. I really do appreciate the support. And, um, yeah, for everybody else, um, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for hanging. Appreciate the company, as always. Hope you um, um, hope you had fun. And uh, hope to see you again real soon. So until next time, guys, thank you very much. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys.